This is a rapid review of the Velbon Pole Pod 2. As you can see, this is the, the the ball head, which is flimsy and plasticky and pretty useless. And the pole extends all the way down to these three little feet at the bottom. The three little feet I thought maybe would provide some stability, but a simple wiggle of the the tripod or monopod thing shows that they are not very stable at all and would probably fall over. The feet do extend into different positions by clicking this little thing ah! by simply twisting the leg you can pull it out and extend it for extra stability and then twist it to lock it back in place and you flick this wee switch thing so this is the legs at the bottom Let's get these switch lock legs to obviously extend it up and down. Ta da! I was expecting something that would provide a bit of extra stability from my monopod, something that I could set up and just leave standing, but I would not trust this with any kind of DSLR or camcorder on it left standing because it is extremely wobbly and flimsy. The top bit is really thin. The bottom bit is quite thick, if they had made the full thing this thickness, or even just a wee bit thicker um, the whole thing probably would have been a bit better but for something that retails in the UK for £140 sorry, um, I managed to pick it up on eBay for a bit less but it's going straight back because it's garbage um, for that price so yes, that is my quick review sorry, I did, um, I swapped this ball head to the Velbone fluid head and when you try and pan left or right the whole thing nearly tips over which makes it utterly pointless and useless for video. So maybe for photographers um, might give them a bit of a more stable shot but for video purposes this thing is mince. So the Velbone pole pod head gets a thumbs down.